Hey everyone, it's Sel. Welcome back to my channel. Last week I decided to impulsively redo my room. It took me literally the entire week to do it. Um, the reason I'm redoing my room is because the accent wall I did in the last video, it just, it looks really gross in the natural lighting that I have in this room. I don't get much sunlight in here because our neighbors built a new house and they built it like right against my window, which is awesome. And I saw Danish pastel on Pinterest and I just, I went for it. So I'm going to take you guys along on the journey of redecorating. So come with me. I just went to HomeSense. I was looking for like something pink or like pastels and they had nothing they're very boho right now and that is like my vibe normally but um we're doing something very different so i am going to go to value village and hopefully find some stuff and i'm gonna go to dollar tree and then we're gonna go to ikea because i need to get the duvet um but i'm gonna go and i'll show you what i get okay so i'm gonna do a quick haul of everything that i got the first thing is a purple duvet cover this is just to cover my weighted blanket and i also picked up a little like velvet mauve colored um cushion cover i have the cushion already and i thought this would be a nice accent i also picked up these flowers that just have more bright colors in them rather than just like regular plants so I thought this would be cute. I found the iconic jar from Dollar Tree with the heart on it and then from Ikea I also grabbed this like blue plant pot. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for maybe for one of the flowers but I think they'll be too small and then I found this matching one at the dollar store it has little dots on it um and I figured this one would probably fit one of those. And then I found this candle. I wanted the little bubble candles, but they didn't have them at the Dollar Tree near me. Um, so this one will have to do. And then I picked this up in my last video, but I thought this would be a nice like book. Um, I'll put like Pinterest pictures here of what I'm going for, but I thought this would be just like a nice rest and you could put like a candle on it and a plant and it'll just be really cute. And then I just wanted to show you guys the paint colors. So this is the pink I went for for the um, art right here. So it's like a little bubblegum pink and it is in the shade Resort Sunrise, which I thought was a cute name. Um, for this wall here with the mirror, I'm going to do like a checker print and I was gonna do a darker pink and kind of like really do pink, but I saw this one for $9 and um, paint in Canada is usually like $39 for like the generic one for a four liter but this is actually the scuff defense so this is in the shade sea salt apparently and it is just like this really nice it doesn't really pick up on camera but it's like a really nice like lavender and i'm gonna do that as my accent wall okay so i'm shooting this in 0.5 to give you guys a better view but i just have hooks here mirror here mom dresser and then i have a mini fridge and a coffee thing in my room because my parents have a keurig they will not convert to nespresso so i just keep mine in here because we don't really have any space in our kitchen to have two and then when you come over here i accidentally well i didn't accidentally i just swatched a piece of the pink there so that's why it looks like that but this is the arch with my bed i have a queen size bed and matching nightstands from marketplace they're from ikea though and then i have everything on my bed that we're going to be using this is the other wall that's just gonna stay the same and then I just have the paint and this wall is also just staying the same so I have all my books my TV Bear's bed um, if you don't know Bear he's in a bunch of my videos he is my 17 pound dog with a 80 pound dog bed because he is spoiled and then I have my door and my double closet door. So that is the before of the room. So I have done this accent wall twice now and the first time obviously I had to make the lines with a laser, but the second time obviously I just followed the same lines. So I'm just gonna do that again. I usually just go a little bit farther out than the previous time and just try to keep the amount of white showing consistent the whole way down. So I finished doing like a coat and a half. I need to do one final coat once it dries. 
but I'm almost out of paint. So I might have to go get a little bit more. Um, but for the meantime, I'm gonna wash the duvet and get that all ready for the bed. Okay guys, it's later in the day. I just got all ready to go out, but the wall here is done. I haven't finished this wall yet, I'll show you that. I'm doing a stencil and I'm literally just using a piece of like 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and just stenciling it on the wall. But I wanna get a couple more decor pieces put in and the old decor swapped out before I leave. So I'm gonna do that now. So here is the stencil. It is just literally a piece of scrapbook paper that I'm using and it's coming out nice. I'm obviously gonna have to tape every second square, which is going to take a long time. That's why I kind of just gave up because I'm on a time crunch now for today. And then I figured right here looked really empty. So I got those like acrylic shelves that people put in their bathroom and I thought like stacking maybe, there's four, but I might only use three right here and putting some stuff on that. But for now, I just wanna get rid of some of the older decor and swap it out. So here's how that looks. I thought that's kind of cute with the little Malcolm and then the rainbow. And then on this side, I did the book that I bought in my last video and the candle. And then the cup is from Dollar Tree and the plant is from Ikea. So I thought that is kind of cute. I don't know, I might add more and I might move some of the stuff onto the acrylic shelves. I just kind of have to wait. So here is the finished bedding. The color is not as accurate on video as it is in person, but um, I really like it. I think it is like very funky and exactly what I was looking for. And I think once I paint this wall checker print, it will be like the perfect amount of color with all the white bedding. So I really like it. Okay, so it is the next day and I did all of the top bit. I'm about to pull the paint off, or sorry, the tape off of these three to see how it looks. So I decided to do the top half so that once I pull the dresser out, I won't have to be using the ladder anymore. And I'm just letting it dry and I'm gonna pull some of the tape off. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I updated you and that is just because I was busy and honestly this wall was such a hassle. Um, I did finish it, it looks pretty good, I just got a little bit of purple paint on this wall that I have to touch up but I actually had to go back and fix all the seams because my painter's tape was like not sticky enough and it kept getting through the seams. Um, but after a few days of touching it up, it looks so good, I love it. And I also did get the acrylic shelves off of Amazon. So this is what I decided to put on it. This photo is getting changed, um, but I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna put one more up so I can show you how to install these. And yeah, that is basically it. The bed still looks great. I have my parents' little chihuahua here. Um, but yeah, oh, there he is. Hi, Kizzy Mimi, is it baby? Um, yeah, it's looking great. The only other thing I kind of want to do is put like stickers on my mini fridge um, that I cut with my Cricut. So I think I'm going to do some sort of like floral pattern. Um, so I want to do that and I want to put up the extra shelf, change out that photo. And then I ordered a couple things from H&M. So I think I'm just going to put the transformation kind of thing in this video and then I'll do like a full tour once that stuff comes in um, like next week. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around at the end, but I want to save it for the room tour. Okay, so I made the flowers and I'm going to put them on my mini fridge. I just made the dots a different color, so I'm going to have to layer them and then we'll put them on. So here is this side finished. I am obsessed with the checker wall and I didn't find any more decor for these shelves yet so I might add the other two acrylic shelves in the future um, and if I do you'll see them in the room tour. 
This is the <laughs> decals on the mini fridge. I thought they turned out kind of cute. Um, I'm not sure I like the blue, so I might actually go back to Michael's and get different colors, but for now it's cute. Here is my bed. I have my Stanley cup and of course she's pink. She matches the room. Um, I'm obsessed with pink. And then over here, I decided to center my books there so that the wooden thing was in the middle, which just has my wee stuff in it. But yeah, I have a few things, like I said, coming from H&M. I will let you guys see that in the room tour. So yeah, I'm going to do a full-on room tour next week and I will tell you where every individual item is from. But this is how she's looking for now and I will see you guys next week.